All right, what's doing? We are finalizing the diff. So we're just gonna, we're gonna do up all the bolts um, tight and everything's done, everything's been greased and we're just gonna go over everything, do it all up. And then we've got our handbrake kit to match the diff. Hopefully this should be pretty easy to go in. I hope so too, it's made for it. So it's just got a simple joiner that joins to that and then splits away. So see how we go with it, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, we're just nut and bolt checking all this. That way we don't have to put it on our list and not bolt check it. So it's already been done. Because <laughs> um, we've got it, we think this is the height that we want to have it at. We've got it at a good ride height. The bump stops, we have to cut in half. At the moment it's got full length bump stops. I don't know what short length or full length is, but they're like this big. I'm either going to cut these down or I might try and find your ones, the ones that are like in your car. Yeah. Um, but I'll probably end up just cutting them down probably because right now it's sitting on bump stops. Yeah, <laughs> it's low. You probably want to put some preload on these too at some point. Um, yeah, these aren't, they, none of these, this isn't set up. Like yeah. these are just touching. The reason but we're going to play with the suspension once everything's in the car. Yeah, and the reason why we haven't really done this up yet is because we don't have any anti seize. We keep forgetting to buy it every time we yeah, go. Yeah, we've got to put anti seize on the the, the the shock body. So they're just sitting in there for the minute. So yeah, we're just going to nut bolt check everything, tighten it all up, and then we're going to get onto the handbrake. Remember we said we're getting to the handbrake after the diff? Yeah. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> so instead of doing the handbrake right now, what we're going to do is we found some heat shield or some heat sleeve. So we're just going to run some heat shield across this cable here just to keep it from burning on the exhaust and melting and then we have no shifter anymore. <laughs> uh, which way? You're tired, mate. Oh, I just had a bit of a yawns. A yawns? Just take the bolt off. No, because... No, oh, fine. <laughs> I don't want to lose the adjustment. It's not a nut, doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> See the sabotage? <laughs> Alright. That should be plenty. Yeah, and then we'll P-clip it to the floor. Now I've got to put all this back together. There you go. So we'll see you in an hour. Yeah. Pretty much. We watched Ford vs Ferrari last night, so we're all like cheated up on... <laughs> on 7,000 RPM. 7,000 <laughs> RPM. You reckon this will do 7,000 RPM? No. Before it shoots a rod out the block? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Alrighty, that's back in. Our makeshift cable tie, which will probably be permanent, is still there. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, we're gonna make a nice bracket. Probably a nice beefy one, maybe as beefy as that, just to hold that there. Yeah. Do you believe that? No, it's gonna stay a cable tie. <laughs> <laughs> Our cam wheel. We need to use. You need to use the original cam wheel still for the new handbrake. So we're just gonna clean it up because it's caked in some grease. And it turns out you can't buy a new one. It's one of the few things that we're not putting. Yeah, you actually can... can't buy these brand new because it's missing a little, the clip that holds the cable in, that goes there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, we might make something or we'll try and find one, but we need it for now. So yeah, we'll clean it up. Even if it goes in temporarily, he has to clean it up. He can't put it in dirty. <laughs> no, we need a brand new cable. Why would you put this in? <laughs> it's all right. That's good. Yeah, there's a few little marks. It's good as new, considering it's temporary. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, where's that bolt? Uh, didn't you put the bolt away? All right, it is handbrake time. So it is a Willwood kit to suit the diff. Um, there's assembly instructions. Disc brakes should only be installed by someone experienced. <laughs> How long did it take us to find this? Five seconds. Yeah. This is a U Foods box. More like half an hour. Which Nathan argued with me over and over again saying <laughs> he's throwing it out. It's not labeled, it's not anything. But look where we found it. And look whose handwriting that is. It's mine. Not your handwriting. You wish your handwriting was as bad as that. It's bad. 
Anyways, this is the kit. We haven't read through it yet, so. Well, what about what? What are we doing? Let's. I don't know what we're doing yet. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. All right, so Nathan's going to read the instructions and I'm going to go clean this bolt up. Yep, sounds good. And bang, it's clean. Just like that. Just like that. So? And Nathan's still reading instructions. I didn't even read them. Are you just guessing? I'm a picture person. Okay. <laughs> just make it look like the picture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, no, nah, it's pretty simple. So, it splits the cable. So, this goes to one. So where our cable comes out. The standard fitting. The standard side, right? So that will go there, and then it splits, and then we've got to split them to each side. Right, okay. Um, so it's pretty simple. But yeah, let's just build it first. All right. Um, well, we've got to make sure that we miss the dry shaft and the exhaust and all that too. So. That's the thing. We've got to miss everything. Like that? Yeah. This is a friggin' long cable. Didn't oh, the instructions say that we make it longer on purpose? All right. It's gone real well. <laughs> Explain what you did with the cables by pulling the inside out. Explain no so? What Nathan did was pull the cables out. <laughs> so, before I bolted the outer sheath in, I've ripped the cables out. So there's no cable in there at the moment. And I'm just going to bolt this in tight to there, each side. And then we're going to route it to where we want it to go. So cut this back to where we want it. Then we'll put the cable in and then cut the cable down. Yeah because we want to have a bit of bit of play so we can tighten it. So right now I'm going to do these up each side. We'll have a look at routing it, which this one I reckon... We're thinking the easiest way to route it will be to go over the top of the diff here and then come forward. Yeah. All right, so just cable tie that to that and beautiful. We just so we're gonna just zip tie that there for now because we because the diff's gonna move up. This will move with it, obviously. So I think that'll be pretty good. Yeah, we'll we just probably, we could give it more if we wanted, but that'll be all right. And then this one will just come forward and to there. So that's pretty easy. This one, we don't know how we're gonna do this yet because we can just come perfectly over here and then come on this side. <laughs> you don't have a lot of luck with cables, do you? Get in there! <laughs> like that. Oh, actually that works not bad. Oh, that'll be fine. Let's just do that. Up and into the channel. And then we can P-clip it to that. I wouldn't. Would you yeah. Oh, and then you can come through here. Oh, me! Look at this! It's all working out! It's all... Oh, sorry. That looks good as. That's mint, mate! All right, job done, let's go. All right, let's go. I'll cook kebab. I'll cook kebab. I wish. Hey, we should do kebabs for lunch. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to run that cable. We're going to P-clip it here, run it over the top. We're going to get a big thick cable tie because we love cable ties and hook it up the top there. So that should be fine. And then we're going to put another P-clip down there. We'll cable tie it again with a big thick cable tie to this trailing arm and it will run forward up to the front of the car. And it looks like it's going to be a pretty neat system, to be honest. Pretty happy with the way that's gonna route. I do realize that you could probably just text screw this and it'll be fine, but I have a hatred for text screws. So we're not certain. That's damn my shirt, that's hot, that's real hot. <laughs> <sighs> Beautiful. I love nut certs. This is really overkill for this. For a P clip. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that loose. Oh no, I don't need to. I'll just pull Just give that a bit of it. Um, put, yeah. Then do it up. Damn, it's, damn, that's holding it really well. It's working really well. <laughs> <laughs> and you said an M6 couldn't do it. So we've got it fully run over now. Oh. We've decided to ditch the cable tie on the trailing arm because didn't really like it. Didn't really look that neat. So we're now going to P-clip it to the side up here. Try to pick clip it. Try to pick clip it, and then we're going to send it straight up to the thing, and it should work bloody beautiful. So, didn't think it completely through. Drilled a nice big hole here for our bolt for the P clip to go in up there. 
Um, but then I don't have a right angle nut cert gun, so I can't get the nut cert in there to put a nut cert in. So it's going to have to be bolted from the other side. So I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. Put a bit of tape in there. Oh, you went for a big bolt. Yeah, because it fits nicer. Nicer fit. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Do you want the light? No, I can see. Nathan's got no faith in doing this, in case you can't tell. <gasps> Nearly lost the spanner up there. Come in. I hope you do, just so you have to take the trailing arm out. I'm not taking the trailing arm out for a <laughs> bloody peak clip. <laughs> yes. Nice. Do we do that up? Um, I can let that hang now, it's all good. Oh no! How much you got? You knocked my spanner off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm gonna try find it. Damn it. Hello, Mr. Bolt. The kit comes with this, so yep. that unscrews, and we're gonna ditch this so then it goes straight on to the original cable. Is it the same thread? Yeah. Oh, bone. So it goes straight onto the original cable, that'll go like that. We'll mount um, the plate there, we'll nut cert that in there. These cables will meet to that, just whack myself. <laughs> Those cables will meet to that, that'll meet to that, pull, beautiful. So this is our bracket. So the, the outer sheath will go into there, and the cable will come through. It's pretty simple really, isn't it? Yeah. So that will nut set that to the floor there, and then that goes like that. Simple as that. Perfect. So the only exposed cable you're gonna have is that short little distance there. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong, I'm looking at the wrong cross member. <laughs> oh, good start. I feel like I stuffed something up. Because it's moving too smoothly, like it's actually really easy. You know, some things we are actually good at. Maybe not this. <laughs> I hate doing the upside down. I was about to say, why, why am I always the one doing the upside drills? Because I'm smart. <laughs> it gets hot real quick. Yeah. And it drips all down on you. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! There we go. Sorry, am I, am I holding you up? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Thanks, champ. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Be cold there. Them fighting words. <laughs> uh. <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you drew the wrong hole. <laughs> you remember how I said it's going too smoothly? This is why. <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> how do you take that so <laughs> You're gonna drill them out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. Good luck. Good luck. That was easy. Hey, we did say we wanted to weld some today, and I just, <laughs> I've just provided that opportunity. You're welcome. <laughs> Hole, no mole. <laughs> That's gone. But these things happen. We've all done it. We've all been there. I just do it more often than most. <laughs> Perfect. Take two. You now. Even, you wouldn't even know. Yeah, now we just don't tell anyone that it happens. Yeah, that's it. No one needs to know. Except yep. for the whole world. The whole world's not watching our videos. <laughs> that's pretty solid. So then these go into that. Like With the so, sheath, yeah. But we'll cut that short, so then it's nice. And then that's it, cable comes through, put it to that, and then bada bim bada boom. Well, we just had ourselves a lovely, healthy, nutritious kebab. Mm -hmm. Lunch, and now we're back into it. Good? Yep. <laughs> 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 
swear, I swear to God, you weren't born with thumbs. <laughs> You're just not used to them yet. <laughs> Listen to him. Alright, I'll get it right up. Can you show us how that worked, please? <laughs> Yeah, so see that's basically moving its whole length. So the cable is working correctly. We're getting enough pull, 100%. Yeah. But we need to adjust the actual drum brakes so they lock on. So we need to adjust the tension on the drum, basically, take up the slack, which you can do with a brake drum alignment tool thing, whatever it's called, like so. Until I start to get friction or the sound of friction on this wheel. Now that I've adjusted the brake shoes slightly, now what I want to do is I need to take this slack out of the lines when it's released. And to do that, it's a matter of doing it through these adjusting screws here to bring some tension on each cable equally. So while Michael's adjusting it, I've made a bracket. It holds them separated. <laughs> if you reckon the cable stay in the gearbox is beefy, this takes the cable. Yeah, it's maybe a touch over beef, um, but it, they're not they're not going anywhere. I reckon if these got caught on a stick or a branch, it'll rip the floor out. <laughs> <laughs> but looks good. Everything's tucked to the floor. And I'm still adjusting. And Michael's still adjusting. So we have everything pretty much nipped away now. The only thing left to do is just to cut this cable short, but we're gonna leave them a little bit long to about that where that tape is on both of them just until we go for a drive and sort of get the car running just in case we're not happy with it. Because we've set it up as best as we know, but as the instructions say, leave this to a professional and we're not professionals. So, we're pretty good bracket makers though. Look at Nathan's bracket. <laughs> Don't look at it from the back. <laughs> it looks bad from the back. <laughs> but it's all in place. We're really happy with how the cables run. They run out through there over the top. Nice big thick cable tie hold that in place. So the adjustment, it took a fair bit of messing around to be honest. Um, maybe that's because I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Um, the way I did it was I adjusted the shoe adjustment to bring the pads out till I sounded like they were just just contacting on the drum. And then I used the adjustment up here on the cables here to actually bring the slack out of the system and adjust it so that without the handbrake on, it you know it moves freely considering this, it's the diff and everything as well. Um, and then three clicks will basically lock the um, handbrake up. And we reckon three clicks is about roadworthy. I think it has to be I'm three pretty clicks. sure three clicks is roadworthy. Yeah. yeah. We can make it tighter or looser either way. There's still plenty of adjustment in the system. But it's an easy install. Easy to go together. Yeah, I'll, it was I'll pretty easy. That. Really yeah. easy to go together. The kit's really good. Obviously, we didn't use all the kit because we didn't have to. But in some situations, you would. It's easy in a HQ because that thread just goes straight onto that block. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I'm happy, you happy? I'm wrapped. All right, let's cut that short and we'll call it a day. Right? I think we drop it on the ground, see where our cable ends up, because I'm hoping that'll push up a bit, because I don't kind of like how it's hanging now. Yeah. But it's going to bring, it's going to come up a bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll just sit it on the ground, see how it looks, and then go from there. And then that's it. All righty then. Time to find out to see whether we have a working handbrake. <laughs> oh. So, handbrake works. That's how you do a roadworthy. <laughs> handbrake work? Yeah. <laughs> well, that rolls nicely still. Good idea, you open roll door. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Oh, that's good as. Yeah. <laughs> it's because like you're sitting low, you got to... Mum's probably only going to get one click. You're going to be like... <laughs> Seat. <laughs> Done. Done. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you look like a toddler sitting <laughs> on the seat. You know when you used to jump in your dad's car when you were a kid? <clears throat> Just play with the gears and turn all his, his indicators and his wipers and his radio up. We may still do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put it in park in the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. Uh, handbrake is now done. We were hoping to get a little bit more done today, but the handbrake actually took quite a bit of the day. Yep. Um, it was easy, but it was hard. 
there was easy, a little luck around tedious. adjusting it. Yeah. Um, we went a little bit further by making a couple of brackets. Making one bracket. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it now for the handbrake underneath of the car. Now we're going to be looking at the fuel system and brake lines. And wiring. And the wiring. And um, let's see if we can get this thing fired up. Hopefully, yeah. Um, that's it for this episode. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was good. So then why are we so good at putting auto shifters on? Because, you know, manuals don't need the modification. They're that good from the beginning. They don't need modification. So what's the seven part series on your HQ again? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we've never used wrinkle red paint before. So we had to try it out on something. We need an excuse. So we painted my old crappy green bars. <laughs> so now it's wrinkle red. <laughs> looks grass. Hey, look at that. How does that? It's like shooting out. <laughs> Probably because something's on fire. It came out the other side. <laughs> Can you do those vape tricks? Yeah. I've driven a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to point out while I'm working hard and doing stuff here to the actual car that actually makes a difference. Nathan's over there just texting. It's All important. Uh huh. It's business texting. Business texting, is it? Hey, bro, how much for those wheels? 